to Ben's Garage. <laughs> Today we're answering that age old question. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video. It was inevitable. Can a Panda 4x4 beat a Range Rover? Oh, us Land Rover enthusiasts, Range Rover purists, no chance for the Panda. Tina's got it in her head that the Panda's going to win. Uh, I'm not quite sure what how that's going to happen. Let's go over the cars. Uh, they've both got some pros and they've both got some cons. Um, the Panda, 50 horsepower, four wheel drive, open diffs. The Range Rover, 177 horsepower, four wheel drive, open diffs. But the Range Rover's got traction control. So when one wheel starts spinning, the brakes grab hold of that wheel, sends the power to the other side. You get the idea. Panda hasn't got that. Um, I'm not sure how the four-wheel drive works on the Range Rover. I know on the Panda you've got a levy pull out next to the gear stick that puts in four-wheel drive, and I think it's done on a viscous coupling. Uh, the old Range Rovers used to be a viscous coupling, but I'm not sure about these ones. I know on the TDV8 the centre diff actually locks. Um, so that's a bit of an advantage for the Range Rover. So that's one point for the Range Rover. Possibly. Traction control. Uh, yeah, so if the wheel starts spinning on the Panda, basically, if you haven't got traction on the other axle, you're stuffed. Um, so that's that, yeah. One point for the Range Rover. Then we talk about the weight. 2.7 tonne. That is probably about half a bag of cement. I don't know, six, seven hundred kilos? Maybe 800, I don't know. So what it lacks in power, it has got the weight advantage because it's not very weight, uh, not very weight, not very heavy. Whereas the Range Rover, although it's more powerful, it's a lot heavier. Um, so I suppose we can give a point to the Panda for that. I don't really like to give the Panda points, but it'll keep the Hobbit happy. Uh, what else? Ground clearance. The Range Rover's got air suspension, you can put it in off-road mode, it goes quite high. Panda, it's fixed. Although it is quite high for a Panda, there is a bit of ground clearance. Um, so I don't know, in relative size, what would you say? In off-road mode, it's about the same ground clearance as that, isn't it? If you took the size of the cars. Probably. So that's a draw. Ground clearance. Um, there's, there's not a lot of overhang on the front of the Range Rover, but there is at the back. You see the Panda, the wheels are on all four corners. So it might do better approach angles and all that kind of jazz. And we're getting a bit dark here, a bit dark. Let me adjust. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so approach angles might be better in the Panda. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so that might be a point for the Panda. But then we get to the nitty gritty, the important part, comfort. There is no way that cement mixer of a car is comfortable. The Range Rover, on the other hand, heated electric leather seats air conditioning, heated windscreen, I would say a nice sound system but the radio don't work, um, automatic, yeah, oh bloody wind started now, um, so the, in the comfort stakes the Range Rover comes out on top, <laughs> the Panda is a bone shaker, uh, there's no luxuries, mod cons, there's no heated seats, there's no power steering. You've got to change gear manually. You actually have to put your foot on the clutch and move the stick. Oh, it's going to be really bright now, I'm going to have to change the camera. 
that's why I need to upgrade. <laughs> so, the panda, you actually have to change gear by hand. What a well, I know, what's that all about? And it's got keep fit windows. And that's no good, is it? Um, it's so narrow, you can almost open the other one from the driver's side. Yeah, it's sod that, you just press a button in the Range Rover. Lazy. So, that's some pros and cons of both. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a test in the field. Go around the track, go through the woods. Uh, it's been requested that we do a tug of war. <laughs> that, I know how that's going to turn out, but um, we'll do it anyway. Uh, we'll have a little drag race as well and um, see how they uh, perform. They're both on road tyres, so there's no advantage there. Um, obviously the Range Rover's got bigger tyres so it's got a bigger footprint um, but as I say the Panda's you know, it's less than half the weight of the Range Rover so they're both equal on that point I would imagine plus I've got automatic wipers on the Range Rover she's only got one wiper on the front well it does no, well, got a new blade for it. Yeah. So we're going to have a bit of a, a test in the field and we'll see you in there. So, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. see the hobbit in its natural environment, the feared panda. It's having a look at the dangerous hole, but oh no, it's having second thoughts. And it beats a hasty retreat. Oh, it's in the car. And here we go, trying again, and it's over the top. What will become of the Hobbit? By Jove, she's done it! Well, I ain't being funny. That's her first time off-roading. <laughs> she's gone straight through that hole. It's actually quite nippy that car because on the drag race, I don't know if it, she did cheat on the first one, but the second time she went at the same time as me. I know, I know I'm in low range, but um, it's actually quite nippy that panda. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm all right with the Range Rover. Thank you. I've been in it once. That's enough. Oh, no, not today. Um, do you want to try that obstacle while I've got the camera out?
Easy! Easy! Beautiful weather. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of fun this afternoon. <laughs> what can we say about this? <sighs> Our off-road track isn't as extreme as some are, but whatever the Range Rover went through, the Panda went through without a fuss. It did struggle a little bit on the rocks, as you probably heard in the video. It, the cross member across the bottom hit the rocks uh, that's the ground clearance issue. Uh, luckily the engine's sort of up a little bit from that, so that doesn't really get the damage um, if Tina was to ever get into off-roading, which I don't think she will. Uh, we would put some bash guards underneath it and all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, quite a surprise with the old Panda. It's, it is like, a, as they say, a mountain goat. It tackled the deep hole really well. The one over on the corner, it was quite well, and everything that uh, the Range Rover did. And I was quite surprised on the drag race, actually. I thought I was gonna piss it. The Range Rover has got more power and it is quicker, but I had it in low range to give her a bit of an advantage. But uh, yeah, bloody thing's quite nippy, that old panda. I was quite surprised. But, uh, so there's not really a winner or a loser in this contest. The only thing is, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, comfort. Whether that's just because I'm getting old, I'm not old, I'm not that old, but um, middle-aged, I like a bit of creature comforts. That panda is just too much. But we are gonna go over the panda, check all the suspension, because there's something clonking away underneath. And it does look really hard. Uh, I don't know if somebody's done something to it, added something, or, but it does, even when Tina's bezing across the field, it was really sort of boing, 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 boing. There was sort of no sort of floating in it. Um, and when I've been watching other Panda videos on YouTube, they seem they don't seem as hard as that. But that's something we'll have a look at. We've got servicing, we've got cam belt to change, we've got other bits and pieces, which we'll video, bring you along for. If you're interested, if not, don't watch them. <laughs> but yeah, it's all, always good fun. Um, Got some more things to do on the Range Rover at some point, and we're gonna get on with the garage. So in conclusion, there's no outright winner of this little four x four contest. Um, the only upside with the Range Rover is the comfort. And the operator. Yeah, but I mean, you still got round exactly the same as I did. I know. Uh, it's not an extreme off-road course we've got here, but we're working on it. Um, a couple of the holes up there were a bit too big because I've even bottomed the Range Rover out in those and got stuck. Uh, the Panda would stand no chance, so we didn't even go in those today. Um, but yeah, hope you liked this video. I think Tina enjoyed making it. She just likes being in the Panda. <laughs> <laughs> and now, look, look at this weather. It's glorious and it's actually quite warm in the sun. 8.5, the car said. Did it? Yeah. Eight and a half degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it across the bottom. Dan's like warmer than it has been. Yeah. So, bit of a fun video this one. Can a panda beat a Range Rover? It, yes. It can't beat it, but the yes. Range Rover didn't really beat the panda either. Yep. So, on our little setup here, they're pretty much neck and neck. Uh, that's our conclusion to the video. And now we're going to sign off. So, I hope you liked this video. Please click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And for me and the dancing hobbit over here, hang on. I'm not dancing hobbit, thumbs up. Uh, yeah, it's bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>